Today I'll be reacting to your Lee and Lee PC builds. Five people from today's video will be chosen and given a $200 Steam gift card. So with that said, sit back and relax and let's begin. Kicking off the episode is J-R-O-Z-E-T-V. Looks like we have a build inside the O11D Evo and we have a Ryzen 5 5600X and an RTX 3080. I got some questions with the specs. It does seem like there might be a little bit of bottlenecking present. I'm, I'm really curious why you paired a Ryzen 5 with an RTX 3080. You should have just gone with the Ryzen 7 5700X. That would have paired a lot better with the 3080, unless you're planning on upgrading, you know, very soon. But specs aside, it's actually a pretty good looking build. It's got my favorite colors as well. We got the Synthwave color scheme, custom LCD display in the back for hardware and it looks like we have cable extensions. They could be custom cables, but it kind of looks like they are cable extensions. I'm starting to see a lot of people run the graphics card cables above the GPU instead of underneath. I still prefer running it underneath if you're doing a, a horizontal build, but JR over here made it look really good. So if you can make it look this good, I'm okay with it. Overall rating is a solid nine out of 10. Up next is Fabi H from Austria. What's going on, my guy? Halloween is around the corner, so I'm guessing he did the color scheme for Halloween or it could be for the hub. Either way, it is a clean looking build. You got the correct fan configuration as well. I feel like if you're building in the O11 case, you're gonna have a wonky fan configuration either way. You're gonna have either too much positive pressure or too much negative pressure. Your bottom fans are always gonna be intake and your top fans are always gonna be exhaust. So it comes down to the side fans to determine if you either have positive pressure or negative pressure inside your case. We got some pretty nice specs in here as well, a 10 850K with an RX 6800 XT. So it looks like a really nice 1440p, maybe even a 4K system over here. Oh, we do have some other color schemes as well, black and white, which is one of my favorites. And, uh, oh, it looks like this one's just off. And they're back to the black and white, okay. But yeah, overall, very clean build, nine out of 10. Oh God, that's so bright. That is so bright, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't think Neon actually applied for the contest, but I will react to the setup and give you a rating either way. Um, it's a very clean build. And I do admire the dedication and the consistency to the color scheme. Everything in here is either white or pink, down to even the PC parts. Looks like she built inside of an O11 Mini and she is rocking a behemoth RTX 3090 Strix in white. Damn. We got custom cables in here as well. I just kind of don't like how the 24 pin is sagging. There's a lot of slack on the 24 pin. I feel like you could just tuck away the excess behind the build, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's not a bad build. Very clean setup as well. Uh, I would have loved to see cable management. Uh, you can see some cables underneath, but yeah, not bad overall. A, very, a solid eight out of 10. That seat looks very comfy, by the way. Here's one from Adrian OM89. By the way, you guys need to have at least two Lee and Lee products to qualify for the contest. Uh, the fans don't count individually. All the fans in the build count as one. So as long as you have two or more, you qualify for the $200 Steam gift card. So Adrian is a huge fan of Lee and Lee and he wanted to build his dream gaming and work machine this year. Congrats on the build guy and welcome to the PC Master Race. So we have an O11D Black with some SL120 fans and then for specs we got a Ryzen 5950X and an RTX 3090. We're gonna see a lot of high-end uh, specs in today's video for some reason. But yeah, very clean build. We have a Galahad AIO and we got those streamers as well. I'm not even mad at the guy for running the streamer cables towards the top. I see that done a lot because you wanna show off the streamer cables, right? I feel like if you do it underneath, you're only gonna see a small portion of that. So this makes the most sense. We got a little bit of video here as well, showing off the RGB lighting. Interesting color scheme. Oh, we got a setup pick as well. Interesting monitor layout. A lot of cables. Got to call you out on the cables. The setup itself, six out of 10. The PC, nine out of 10. Looks sick, but why is it in your kitchen? I didn't realize this is in the kitchen. How do you guys know that this is in the kitchen? Ooh, what is this? Hello, Poppy. Come to me. Oh, we only have one picture of this. That's unfortunate. Looks like a very clean, hardline, water cool build. Uh, we do have a Ryzen 5 5600X 
an RTX 2080 Ti. Damn, the Ryzen 5 5600X seems to be very popular these days. Um, this actually seems like a more balanced parts list compared to putting in a 3080 in there, if I'm being honest. But yeah, very clean build. We do have at least two Lee Lee products, I hope, the case. And uh, that's it, isn't it? Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, the fans, I didn't even notice the fans. So yeah, he qualifies to be in the contest. Hiroki, this is such a sick PC. I just wish he posted some more pictures. Uh, some of the bends aren't exactly straight from this angle. I will give you a solid nine out of 10. All right, we got a setup pick from John Zellis. Another Ryzen 5 5600X. Oh my God, dude, how many, can we put a counter somewhere in the corner of how many <laughs> Ryzen 5s we see in today's video? And then we got that pair with an Asus Tough RTX 3070 Ti. Oh, looks like we do have some extra picks of the PC. Do we have any photos with the PC on? No, we do not, unfortunately. It's not a bad build, very clean work. Um, I would probably swap the stock cables with some cable extensions from Amazon. They're super cheap. It would really add new life to this system. But yeah, very clean build. I would give this a solid uh, seven out of 10. Oof, look at the picture quality on this one from Archetype Origins. Ar Arch Archetype? Archetype. I wish all the pictures were like this from today's video. We got a Ryzen 9 5900X paired with an RTX 3080 Founders Edition. And even the 12 pin cable from the GPU is custom with cable combs. You know this guy loves his PC. He put in the time and effort. I mean, just attention to detail. The color scheme's on point. It's a very clean build, no doubt. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. I could look at these pictures all day. Damn, yeah, very nice. I don't know what I just watched, but I don't think you even qualified because you don't have two Lee and Lee products. I danced for no reason, God damn it. Here it is, our very first RGB puke rainbow build from today's video. It's inside of an O11D case and we do have an AIO from Leoni as well, so he does qualify. As far as specs, there it is again, Ryzen 5 5600X <laughs> and an RTX 3080. Why is this combo such a common thing? I don't, am I missing something here? I feel like there was a bundle on Newegg or something where you buy a 5600X and they give you a 3080 or vice versa. But why are people pairing a 5600X with a 3080? You better be playing at least 1440p title, so you're pushing that 3080 to its limit. Otherwise, if you're playing 1080, you're gonna be experiencing some bottlenecks. Some super cheap cable extensions would be nice for the graphics card at least and the 24 pin, but yeah, overall, very clean build. It's a solid eight out of 10 for me. Wait a minute, this one looks familiar. Oh, it's Hiroki again. What a, what a pleasant surprise. Looks like he added some more close-up pictures. I, I feel like he was listening to me somehow. Very nice. Let's take a look at the rest of the uh, stock power supply cables in a water cool build. It's still a clean build. It's still a clean build. I, I, although I do have to knock off one point. I think I gave you a 10 last time. This, this is now going to be a nine because of the stock cables. But yeah, still a sick build nonetheless. Oh, whoa, whoa, look at that. Look at that setup, ladies and gentle beans. That looks pretty badass. We don't have a close-up picture of the PC, unfortunately, but for specs, he did build inside of a Lancool 3, and, oh, he's got uni fans. I can see it from here, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, from this distance, it looks like a pretty cool PC and a pretty badass setup. I do love the collection of keyboards on the left pegboard he got there, and the uh, Govi neon strip outlining the acoustic panels. Very nice. As far as the PC, can't really tell from his distance. I'm just gonna give it a solid nine out of 10. Up next is Forbidden Builds and his very beefy 4K system. Looks like a Ryzen 7 5800X and a Radeon 6900 XT, my Lord. We do have a lot of high-end builds. I feel like the GPU price, I feel like the GPU prices going down have a lot to do with this. More of the uh, high-end cars are becoming more accessible and they're finally back to MSRP prices. If not, they're still dipping. So yeah, very clean build. I do love those, um, the Lee and Lee fans. Those are my favorite fans to date. Solid nine out of 10, my guy. Up next is Mordecai4444. We have a Ryzen 7 5800X with an RTX 3060. The specs here are kind of flipped now. We have a high-end CPU with a mid-range-ish GPU. Interesting choice, but 
a very clean build nonetheless. We have an RGB color scheme and stock power supply cables. Guys, cable extensions are like maybe 20, 30 bucks at most from Amazon. They're super cheap, but they make a huge impact on your PC's aesthetics. If you're gonna spend all this money on RGB fans and high-end specs, the least you could do is pick up some nice cables from Amazon. Trust me, it'll make your PC look a lot better. Also, when you get a chance, I'd probably peel off the attention sticker on the bottom right. Hiroki again, I feel like we're gonna see this guy a thousand more times. <laughs> I still won't get tired of it. I still won't get tired of it. I love the color scheme, black, white, and red, very unique, very different. There's a nice mix of white on black, and then we got the red as the accent color. It's clean, it's, it's clean. So this one has an interesting color scheme going on. It's, I guess that's what makes it so different. We have the usual rainbow color scheme for the RGB fans and a black and red color scheme for the actual parts, so for the cables and for the RAM sticks. We have a Ryzen 7 5800X 3D and a Nitro Plus 6950X. Wow, that is a powerhouse, damn. This guy is rocking a really nice combo, that's for sure. I mean, it's a unique color scheme I've never seen before. Very clean cable work. It is hands down a 10 for me. Oh man, that's a clean build. Now that is a very clean build. Sometimes when you're trying to put white on a fan or an RGB product, it comes off as a different color on camera. So I'm not sure if you're attempting white on those fans, but it still looks good. Even if you're going with purple, it looks really good. It complements the blue next, um, next to it, but it's a, nice, it's a nice unique color scheme and it's a very clean build. We got strimmers for both the graphics card and the 24 pin. Custom cables for the 8-pin EPS and a vertical mounted graphics card. What do we have here? Ryzen 9 3900X with an RTX 3070 painted in white. Oh, very nice. Very nice job. We got some mods. I would love to see more modded PCs in today's video. Oh my god, you can change the color scheme. This is why I love color neutral setup so much. You can literally just change it to whatever color you want. Oh, oh I'm in love. I'm in love. Very clean, very clean. 10 out of 10, I don't even have to think about it. I have a small little gripe, just a tiny one. I'm still giving you a 10. This is a 10 build without a doubt, but there's no consistency with the fans. You know, you got uni fans on the right, and then what kind of fans are those on the bottom and top? They're different fans and they're pretty obvious. It, it sticks out, but still, beautiful, beautiful build. Okay, here's the perfect example of running the PCI cables above the graphics card. This looks very messy. You know, you're not going with the Strimmer Plus, so there was no need to go across or above the graphics card and above the AIO tubes as well. You could have run them underneath. You could do it in this case. Trust me, I've done it before. Um, other than that, that's like the only thing that's sticking out so much. Other than that, it's a very clean build. It is a seven out of 10 for me. Actually, there are more pictures. Hold up, let's see what we got. You can route it underneath the graphics card and into the bottom grommet on the side of the case. It would look a thousand times better. We do have a setup pick as well. It's a bit cluttered for my taste. Um, and the right monitor is kind of at a weird angle. Six out of 10 for the setup, seven out of 10 for the PC. Voodoo SRT, Ryzen 9 5950X with an ROG Strix 3080. See, this is the only time where running the cable above the GPU looks good. It's a Strimmer Plus. It doesn't look messy. You're showing off the cable, so I like it. I like it, it's not bad. Uh, the build itself, nicely balanced, nice fan configuration, clean cable work. What else can you add? Okay, what is that? What is that? Is that a sticker on the window of an Apache helicopter? That's so random. No, why would you do that? That's so random. We should at least put it on the, on the side panel over there. Why would you put it there? Ugh. I was gonna give it a nine out of 10, but now with this, now with this sticker over here, it's, a, it's an eight out of 10. Finally, another hardline build from Jarivani, I'm so sorry if I'm butchering your name, you guys. My, I can't see, it's, it's eight o'clock at night right now, and I'm squinting even with these glasses on, so I apologize if I'm butchering your name. We have a Core i9-10900 with an RTX 2070 Super Windforce. It does kind of feel like this was your first ever water cool build. Congrats if it is. You did a fantastic job and it's not bad. I don't know what this random cable is. Literally in the middle of the PC. I wish you would just like fling that across before you took the pictures, but it's not bad. Yeah, it's a, 
Got a bistro plate in there as well. It's, it's a nice... There it is again. Even your second picture has that weird cable. It's not bad. Yeah, 7 out of 10. We got another hub themed build. It looks like some of the fans aren't working unless you took the picture at the wrong... T oh no, they're not actually working. Oh, they're actually... Oh, they're not working. That's unfortunate. But very clean build. I love the vertical mounted GPU and those G-Skill Trident Z Royales. Ah, I love the crystal heat spreaders on that. Um, I had a missed opportunity to use those in the Landcool 3 build. A lot of you guys were letting me know in the comment section and I know I just, when I read that, I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. Missed opportunity. I should have used that in the, um, in the Landcool 3 build. It would have paired beautifully with the Palette RTX 3080 Ti. That was, that was my bad. That was my bad. But yeah, the build itself, very clean, nine out of 10. Beautiful. Just beautiful. I love the colors. Name a better duo. Name two other colors that blend in so beautifully other than cyan and hot pink. I'll wait. I have all day. Okay. I'm just biased. I'm sorry. I love the color scheme so much. I don't know why. But <laughs> we have a 5800X. So many Ryzen CPUs. Oh my God. Ryzen's taking over, especially with the new 7000 series CPUs. I feel like Intel's in trouble. I've always used Intel CPUs in my builds, but right now I feel like, oh, I feel like they're sinking. Intel, come on, step it up, man. Step it up. 1500X paired with a 6700 XT, wow. Very nice, very nice setup as well. Beautiful, my guy, so beautiful. Nine out of 10. There he is again, Arctype Origins, or Archetype Origins, I'm sorry. That's a very clean, water cool build. Look at the size of that. <laughs> Look at the size of that extension. Oh my god, that's so long. At this angle, it looks so freaking long. It's so different. I like it. It's got a naturey, naturey vibe to it. We got the custom LCD display. Is it the same PC? I can't tell. Is this the exact same PC? No, no, the other one was not water cooled. Okay. We have a 5900X with an RTX 3080 Founders Edition. I feel like he took that PC and he made it water cooled because we got the same specs in here. But yeah, very, very impressive, nine out of 10. I love how this guy's caption is trying to win that $200 on Steam. <laughs> He's not even shy to say it. Hey, I don't blame you, my guy. 200 bucks is a lot. You can get maybe one game. I'm just kidding, you guys can get a couple games from it. But we have a Ryzen 5 3600 paired with an RTX 2060 Super. Very nice, clean, all white build. I love it. I love everything about this. Do we have more pictures? Yes, we do. Oh, very clean setup as well. Double stacked monitor. The top isn't exactly centered with the bottom, but I'm not here to critique your setups, unfortunately. But yeah, I mean, um, the PC itself, very, very clean, nine out of 10. Oh, another very, very clean all white build. We got a Ryzen 9 5900X and an RTX 2070 Super, very clean. Streamer pluses for the graphics card and the 24 pin. And we have a Capital X 360 AIO with some Lee and Lee fans. Gorgeous build, nine out of 10. We got another pink theme build from Ananka 106. You only have one like, let's change that. Uh, specs Ryzen 9 5950X and an RTX 3080. Custom LCD display in the back. Looks like um, this person also skinned it. And then we got the streamer pluses as well. Oh, look at that. Different color scheme as well, very nice. Looks like you might be missing a PCI bracket in the back, unless you purposely removed it so you can wrap the cables for your LCD display. But yeah, very clean build, no complaints, nine out of 10. Oh, what? That's a very clean build. Unfortunately, yeah, no specs, my guy. If you just posted specs, you would have qualified. We have uni fans in here and we have an O11 mini dynamic. Oh, it's unfortunate. That is such a clean build. Zero RGB too, it's an all white build, oh man. Very nice, very nice. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. Damn, we got a lot of submissions. I'm, uh, I'm impressed with how many of you guys actually submitted your Lee and Lee builds. This one has a Ryzen 9 5900X with a 3060 Ti. Yeah, definitely. I love the color scheme. White on purple, very clean. Ooh, interesting routing with the streamer cable from the graphics card underneath and towards the left. That's the first time I'm seeing that. Is that me or is that an RGB AIO tube? If that is an RGB AIO tube, that's the first time I'm seeing this ever. Unless it's white and the lights are reflecting off of it, 
which it kind of looks like it's glowing to be honest. That is interesting, what is that? It can't be RGB, can it? I'm so confused. Does anybody know what AIO this is? I don't think, um, I don't think this person listed it. Let me know in the comment section if you can tell what AIO this is because that is very interesting to me. The specs are a bit unbalanced, unfortunately, but it's a very clean build, eight out of 10. Oh, that looks clean. Damn, I love that massive display in the front. That is so freaking cool. That is so freaking cool. I would do that too. Honestly, like it changes the look of your PC. You have an entire side panel on the side of your PC to look at your components. I feel like covering the one in the front with like a monitor is perfect. It looks so cool. A 9900K with an RTX 3080 from MSI. Damn, he's, he's rocking the uh, new Streamer Plus V2s as well. Very clean build, nine out of 10. Damn. Oh, man. Oh, that's a good shot. Oh. oh it's, I'm always going to get weak in the knees every time I see this color scheme. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at that. That is a more unique color scheme. Look at that. Teal? No, what is that? Turquoise and red? That looks so badass. I'm getting these retro vibes with this one. The setup is... You would never expect someone to have a setup like that when you're looking at a PC like this, right? It just it doesn't really, doesn't really balance. There's barely any mouse space. That's interesting. Look how, look how close the keyboard is to the uh, edge of the desk. Let's go back to the PC. The PC is a nine out of 10. What do we have in here? 900K and an RTX 3060. Again, with the unbalanced parts. What is going on, you guys? What is going on? Nine out of 10. I hate to say this, but you know, the black graphics card does stick out a lot in the sea of white components and the white case. So I got a feeling you might be upgrading that, you know, very soon, but yeah, I mean, very clean build. I, I love it, nine out of 10. So here are the five winners from today's video. If your PC is on this screen, DM Lee and Lee on Instagram as soon as possible to claim your $200 Steam gift card. For everyone else that didn't win, Lianli is still hosting a giveaway that's open for everyone. They're giving away 10 sets of Unifan SL Infinity and Strimmer Plus V2s. All you gotta do is follow the Lianli official Instagram account, like the post, and tag a friend in the comment section. Good luck to everyone that enters. And that will do for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, do show some love by dropping a like before you head out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in the next one.